If data is the new gold, then it's important that we learn how to invest in that new data, that new gold that is going to give us exponential growth as those stocks grow as a result of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and then eventual quantum computing. That's what Best of Us Investors is all about. That's what I'm all about, Kerry Grinkmeyer, retired financial advisor that's here to make your life better. Come join Best of Us Investors. Now let me show you how to invest in the new gold. Huh. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. I started my search at Seeking Alpha by segregating out the stocks in information technology that were under um, $1.5 billion. Because a, a stock at, at, at a trillion dollars of market cap is not going to tenfold in two years. But a stock that is down around uh, $756 um, million could tenfold in two years. And so if I'm looking for exponential growth, that's where I've got to go. And I, I went to information technology because this is the segment that is going to be affected most by uh, artificial intelligence. So here is what I ended up with. Actually, I, I, with information technology, I came in with um, 25 stocks that uh, came out of their that that achieved both a 4.5 or better ranking out of five from uh, Seeking Alpha's quant rating and Wall Street's uh, ra ranking. So I brought that down, as I say, to 25 stocks. I then went and said, okay, I want to be a little bit more specific. I want them to have something to do uh, with the equipment or the, um, the, the the workings of semiconductors. So that's what I've come up with now, uh, 15 uh, stocks, actually it's 16 stocks that uh, fit that category. And here's, here's the spreadsheet I created to share with you to show you what in fact they look like. Uh, the first thing I did is I said, I'm listening giving you their price, their market cap. This is their P-E ratio. If it's got this, it says field and it's in red, that means they're not making any money right now, so they don't have a P-E ratio. Then I'm showing you their 50-week, 52-week uh, high and their 52-week low. Now, the other criteria that I wanted to put in was what are they projecting? What kind of growth on earnings per share are they projecting? And I don't use earnings, I use earnings per share because a lot of these companies will go out and buy other companies uh, by uh, diluting their stock. In other words, uh, issuing more shares, uh, thus creating a lower value or more shares into a, a, a price in the stock. So I want to see a increase in earnings per share, not just earnings. And so I've, I've gathered their projected uh, increase in earnings per share uh, for 2024 and 2025. And then I've highlighted for you those that I thought were extraordinarily good and and of, of, of potential exponential growth. I then went and searched on Zacks and uh, several others, the Wall Street uh, gurus projections for their price and their high price, high projection price in 2024. And I list that here. And yet, let's use AER, AEHR uh, as an example. And AEHR is a company that uh, basically um, puts in test systems and cooling systems in data centers. So they're involved in this build out of the data centers. And their current price is $26.28%. They are a market cap of $757. $157 million. So again, if I look at that and say, could they become a $7.5 billion company? Yeah. So that's a 10x uh, in market cap, which would then, I would say, give me a 10x potential in, in price. But the analysts are saying their price in uh, 2024 has a potential to go to 60. Uh, they're at 26, 28, so that's 128% 
uh, gain. Now, the next number is what you see is the Altman Z score. This is something I've never heard anybody talk about, but I think is very quintessential, and I find it on uh, my Seeking Alpha. What it does is it, it ranks a company in its likelihood to go bankrupt. <laughs> That's right. And if you have a score of below one, you have a good likelihood, or, or 1.5 it is, uh, you have a good likelihood to be going bankrupt. If you have a score above three, there is little potential that you will go bankrupt. So you'll see I have some, some stocks in here that have some good numbers. Uh, here's one, uh, C-E-R-A-G-O-N, Courageon Networks, uh, selling at $2.50. It's not making money. Um, it's high for the year was two two thirty eight. Its low was one fifty five. Uh, they're projecting that their earnings per share will go up seventy six percent in uh, twenty four and thirty seven percent in uh, twenty five. That would give them some potential. The um, Wall Street gurus believe their price will go to six dollars or a hundred and eighty percent gain. But I'm not going to buy it if it's got a, a a ranking of 0.88, which means it's not financially sound. So that's how I analyze stocks. You can see there are some that actually have negative numbers in here. Um, this is Quick Logic that has uh, some very good financials anticipating a increase in earnings of 274%. And if you go dig it out, you'll f see what that is, is they have negative earnings now, but they're going to have less negative earnings next year. So even though that number looks good, um, the analysts agree with me, the price isn't going to go up all that much. In fact, if they do create something, they'll probably be bought out. So Again, we go through a number of stocks, and this is a satellite company. Um, I, I've looked at it before, and again, it is not on strong financial ground. Here's one, uh, uh, Frago, F-A-R-O, Faro Technologies. It's, an, it's not making money. It has an anticipated growth of... Um, of 300% growth in their earnings, and the analysts say it will grow from a $22.79 to a $29, giving it a 27% gain. So, um, and, and it's not really strong financial. Long and short, I came up with three stocks that I believe have the potential to give you exponential gains. Uh, uh, Walk Me is an interesting stock. I'd encourage you to go to Seeking Alpha, read and see what it's all about. It's not making money, but it's anticipating it will make money next year. And with that, it has a potential growth of 1,400% uh, in earnings per share, which could equate to a substantial growth in, in their um stock price as well. Uh, in fact, Wall Street believes it will go from $10.50 today to $20 or a 91% gain. Now, it is uh, it is not below the 1.5, but it's not above the 3.0, which makes puts it in the safe zone. So I have a B alert signal uh, in that its Altman Z rating uh, is a 1.6. The other stock that looks very strong is Atamira. And Atamira is a $7 stock. Uh, it's not making money. It is showing a growth in earnings of, uh, in 2024 of 20%, but Wall Street gives it a potential price tag at the end of the year of $17 or 141%. And again, if they can, they don't, they don't, aren't giving me a projection of earnings in 2025, but this again is a company that is in the uh, semiconductor field, they have developed a uh, film that will lengthen the life of the semiconductor and at the same, by reducing the heat generation on the wafer that uh, the semiconductors are made of. So it has some potential 
And these are the three stocks that I see that are in the um, information technology that I think could give you exponential growth. Now, these are uh, risky stocks, and you need to recognize that in your purchasing. The only one that I currently own is AEHR. In fact, I um, was stopped out on it. I, I had made about uh, 30% on the stock, and I put a stop loss order of five on it. And just in the last two days, I got stopped out, which is not a bad thing. Uh, there's going to be an awakening. There's going to be a pullback, I believe, as the brokerage houses go to a reset. They made a lot of money in uh, November and December of this year on, uh, on, on some stocks, and I think they're going to reset it and then make a lot of money probably end of January, 1st of February. And so even though I'm getting stopped out, uh, I'm protecting my profits, such as, as an example, I've got about 85% profit in, in NVIDIA. Uh, I've got a 5% stop loss order on it. I believe that the market conditions, the, the geopolitical conditions are ripe for, for there be, to be a major stock correction and possibly NVIDIA's price to drop 20%. Well, I don't want to write it down. So if, in fact, it does at 5% from its high, I'll be stopped out. That will then give me the opportunity uh, as it comes down, and I'm confident it will in 2024, early 2024, I can buy in at a better price. So that's how I'm managing my, my portfolio. This is uh, what I'm showing you here is how I'm analyzing the stocks that could potentially give me exponential growth. And when I say exponential growth, I'm saying a 10x. And a, a, a Apple is not going to 10x over the next two years, but AEHR quite possibly could, um, uh, Walk Me quite possibly could, and Atomera, At Atomera could possibly, in my, ex my, my judgment. So what I would suggest you do is do your due diligence and come to a conclusion. Are these three stocks you want to put something in and maybe build a position in because they have the potential for exponential growth? I'm going to do this in some other sectors. As I was doing my research, I see there are some some real possibilities in the, um, in the medical field that I want to explore a little bit further. And so if you want to be uh, re get, gain regular access to this, um, and if you want to uh, improve your possibilities uh, of making money in, in the stock market, uh, I would suggest you come to Best of Us Investors and learn how to invest wisely so that you can improve your life and become a better investor.